Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Zero, and welcome to Gauntlet Slayer Edition for the PlayStation 4. This game just came out today on the PlayStation 4. Now this is the same game that was out last year on PC, but it's the Slayer Edition. So the Slayer Edition is supposed to bring a couple little new, uh, new things. I'm not exactly sure what it brings. I haven't done a lot of research on this. It's a it's not an expensive game. You can download it right now on PSN for $19.99. Doesn't look like we have any subtitles, so let's just hop into it. But we're still gonna bring it to you, so let's go ahead and start the game. Alright, so we got campaign, endless, and coliseum mode. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just start the campaign off right now. I'm gonna pick normal. Welcome. And we'll run through the characters here. So, to start off, you get the warrior. He's got the weapon is the axe, health is high. It's a strong melee fighter with wide attacks, likes to rush into the thick of battle. This is going to be more of your just straight up melee character. Alright, the Valkyrie, which is one that kind of interests me. You got a sword, spear, and shield. So, I guess, uh, or a sword probably and or a spear and shield. Uh, the health's going to be medium, but it's a, still a melee fighter with strong defense. can stand its ground against any foe. So the wizard is going to be more of just a range attack, arcane magic, and your elf. So you got the bow and arrows. So your elf, wizard, and warrior are your traditional. The Valkyrie is a nice little addition here. And uh, there is also a secret character, which we have not got. You can get him for $4.99 right now on PSN. And it's Lilith the... Necromancer. So, if you guys are interested in seeing the Necromancer, let me know. I will pick it up. For the time being, we're going to stick with these main characters and uh, probably pick up the Necromancer for some multiplayer. I think it'll be fun. Uh, but for right now, I guess we will jump into the game as uh, Valkyrie. If you notice my gold, uh, 10,000 gold on the warrior here, I jumped into a quick multiplayer match. I wanted to see if I started the campaign on multiplayer, will I start off in the beginning? Can you play the entire game through, through the quick match program? And that's not exactly how it works. I don't know if I was uh, early into the levels or not, but it threw me right into a game with other people playing. If uh, Once you finish the campaign, that's an option to you guys, and I think it's a good one, because this game is definitely better with other people. Alright, so let's go with the Valkyrie. Um, we get the equipment. And we can change equipment already. So let's change equipment. Doesn't look like we have anything available right now. 16,000 gold, we can get the Freedom Protector. So right now we just have Shield Throw. Ranged attack that bounces from enemy to enemy, returning to the Valkyrie. While the shield is thrown, she cannot block. Okay, so the fact that we can block is probably going to be pretty nice in here. Let's uh, go ahead and stick with what we got. And we're ready. Powerful enough to have summoned the gauntlet. This astral manifestation of my powers is a trial where only the strongest will prevail. Find the three lost shards of Tirfin and bring them to me, and I will grant you power and riches unimaginable. No one has ever managed to acquire all the shards. I don't expect you to make it, but go on, amuse me. With that power in my hands, Nothing could stand in the way of my vengeance. Alright guys, so the gauntlet has been open, and we are on our way in. Alright, so we'll start off in Tombs of the Risen. You see, just follow the map down. And it actually, oh, it actually won't let me go any farther than that, so... We will uh, just start fresh. Now, this is where other people can join in. You can uh, change your equipment still in between tombs. Um, and we will definitely play some multiplayer in this. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily going to be before I finish the campaign on single player or not, but we will uh, we'll find out. steeped in dark magic. This is going to be dirty. I'll find the king. He has to be down here somewhere. Alright, when you're playing Gauntlet, if you remember back in the day of Gauntlet, you kind of want to treat it like you do Diablo. You know, this is a hack and slash dungeon crawler. 
We're going to be picking up loot. We're going to be picking up gold. Um, and it looks like in this situation, we're going to be picking up gold in order to purchase those new moves or equipment, as they like to call them. So definitely want to uh, break everything you can, get all the gold that you can. Undead slaves. Let's put these poor souls to rest. So R2 is going to put your shield up. Which is going to be a little bit different than most of the uh, classes here in Gauntlet. So I'm really excited to see how this Valkyrie progresses. That's what I was mentioning, the multiplayer. Like, I do want to play some multiplayer. I think it's also going to be cool to put up some multiplayer videos. But what I'll do is I'll put them separate from the actual campaign. So we'll run the single player campaign, and I'll put it in the thumbnails, part one, part two, and that's how we'll do. When I do the multiplayer, um, and just multiplayer gaming, some let's play, uh, maybe that's how I'll word it, either let's play. But I, what I won't do is put it as part of the series. I, you know, it'll uh, We'll put it in the same playlist, but we won't call it part two. If I play a multiplayer game, we'll uh, we'll keep those separate, and that, that way everybody knows what's going on. Because I like to see the entire game through. Some people like to see the ending, and that's that's how we'll do it. But multiplayer definitely makes this game more fun, more chaotic, and so I want to definitely get some videos in of that. Plus, I want to play multiplayer, so definitely how we'll do it. Right, so you get the key, unlock the door into the next room, and we just have a crap. Done. Let's throw the shield out. See what happens. Oh my god! Just tearing through them. So a lot of running around. Okay, as you can see in the bottom, your skill has to uh, to come back. So it takes a little bit of time to earn the this skill back. Oh, I got a nice crown. Oh, that is a beautiful skill. All right, so I picked up the crown. Now I'm wearing it. I'm not exactly sure what it does yet, but we will uh, hopefully find out here soon. I never played Gauntlet on PC, so if I seem very new to this, I am. Man, I haven't played Gauntlet since Nintendo, and uh, this is this is going to be interesting. When I say Nintendo, and I think I might even mean Atari. The gauntlet was so long ago. Oh, sorry, guys, my phone was still on. It should not be on. Holy crap. Oh, let me pick up the crown. That, that is pretty sweet. The crown falls off. And you can still pick it up. That means if uh, you had multiplayer, I bet you could lose the crown. Somebody else could pick it up. That's kind of a cool, uh, cool concept. All right. Oh, okay. The left trick will also trigger my shield. Oh. Did not want that to happen. Let's make sure we crush all these. Looks like you should be able to cut that rope. But I guess not. The crystal is falling in reinforcements. A vital point to take out. Oh, that was beautiful. A Valkyrie's aim is true. Very true. Oh my god, amazingly true. Oh, that Valkyrie shield is just a little bit OP, I believe. Though my health is still getting low, so... I want to go through here. Unlock this one first. Oh, just an insane amount of people. Alright, perfect. We got some, uh, some health, some magic. I didn't even notice if when I use my shield if my magic is going down. If that was my health or my... My health must be the red up in the corner. Next to the skull coins. Oh, shit. So as soon as you step on it, it activates. The oh, wow. Very quickly. Alright, no, my health is definitely this on the bottom. Keep me in the fight. This will keep me in the fight. I love the sound of that. Um, maybe I should go back real quick. 
Man, that's so quick. You don't have time to even think about it. Do it. Does this? Does that key also unlock here? No, it doesn't. Okay, one key, one wall. Oh, okay. There's at the bottom. You can see the number of keys you have. So yes, I definitely did not have. There was one choice. I could pick the food or. Holy shit! Corrupted mummy. Oh, man, I should have used those to my advantage. Run, 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 run. That guy's got super speed. That guy's got super speed. That guy's got some super fucking speed. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Run, guys, run. Run, baby. Why are there so many giant mummies? Oh my god. Got him. What the? Three of them? Oh man, that shield is amazing. How can you not love that shield? That dude's super fast, but he's stuck behind that other zombie. That's so sweet. Oh my god. Carry explosives. Oh, well that would have been nice to know. I probably could have hurled these. I was gonna say that looked like a wall that you could you could blow open. Oh, all right, sweet. Picked up some keys. Let's uh, use one of them on this wall. It looks like some treasure. I'm gonna grab this. Oh crap! This is the uh, free bomb area. It does seem like it's pretty nice that uh, carrying the bomb doesn't slow you down. Oh shit, I should have waited. Oh man, it was not a good thing to do. Let's get over here. There, look at that bomb. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh man, I, I threw that shield the wrong direction. Did not get much distance at all. Keep running, baby. Keep running. That did a lot of damage. Kind of happy with that one. We really need to take out that mistake. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. That dude is so fast. Oh, when they explode, man, look at that. Oh, sweet. Okay. Let's get that stack. Nothing will stand in the way of vengeance. All right, cool. So slash, slash, shield, slash, slash, shield. Um, let's go get this, man. I don't know which is the right way to go. I don't know if you get a map. Uh, quit to map. So only the big main map. Don't want to do that. We blew up that wall. So I know it's like a special wall. I love the, so the sound of picking up food. That's so sweet. It's so retro. Okay, the bl the wall we blew up was where we got those keys and stuff. So let's go this way. Oh shit! Oh, this is just quick food. And 
magic pot. Alright. Here we go. They're not going to expect this. Oh, I missed some gold. I know there is a trophy for destroying food. I don't know if there's any other real reason. Well, it looks like if you... That sucks. I wanted to, wanted to use it on these guys, but... Oh well. Keep moving on. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh man, that was awesome. Very amazing. Jump! Oh my god. Talk about crazy good timing. Oh, this is insane. Alright, there is something on L1, and I don't know what that is. My uh, crown got thrown down, too. Oh, shit. I'm getting stuck. Oh, L1. Alright. Alright, so that's a cool little way to save yourself. Oh my god, alright, I died. So, when you die, it looks like you do get to revive. You probably lose a lot of stuff. I, I probably had more gold than that. That L1 attack is uh, crazy good if I knew about it ahead of time probably would have helped well done all right so we got that wait till this powers up that'll help me get through here right, the door is open that was a rough room that was probably one of the more uh, more difficult rooms so far Oh, just sliced him. Nice. Let him take the damage. Use that shield. So we still got the crown. Not exactly sure how good that is. Oh, beautiful. Just slicing and dicing. I don't know if you actually get to upgrade your weapons, maybe have a more powerful sword. If you did, that'd be pretty sweet. So, nothing in here, and that looks like the end of the first floor.
So floor cleared guys, the first floor is done, and uh, this is Gauntlet. So if you guys like this series, please hit the like and uh, subscribe for some more. You can find me on Twitter at Zero Hill Games. And if you, like I said, if you guys like this, hit the like and I'll keep popping out some more Gauntlet. I want to do a full playthrough of single player and definitely put in a lot of multiplayer videos. So, Alright guys, well without further ado, I am out and I'll see you next time.